Are you ready for some football? A bourbon whiskey party? What? We're talking about the top 10 bourbons for game day. Welcome to Stuff on Whiskey. I'm Aaron. I'm Josh. And today we're talking about game day bourbons because football's back, baby. Thank goodness. Boy, it's been a long time. Thank goodness. You don't have to spend Saturdays and Sundays with me. No, I can spend them with you. We can just spend them watching the games. I will not be watching the games. <laughs> unless, you can be knitting. Unless it's the Ohio State University playing a game. Well, don't even get me started. Then I might watch it. All right. We're going to get into this list because I fell in bourbon. I fell in love with bourbon. I, I fell in bourbon. Wow. I slipped and fell. You must be really sticky. <laughs> no. I fell in love with bourbon because I went to college for a couple of years at Western Kentucky University in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Okay. And it was cheap beer or cheap bourbon. And I found out that I like cheap bourbon a lot better than I like cheap beer. So this list is Fair. good game day pours. There's not a bottle here over $30 or thereabouts. Depending okay. on your market, they can vary a little bit. Yeah. But they're going to be about 30 bucks unless you go up and get the 1.75 liter plastic handle of some of these, mm. which you can maybe get for under $40, but you're going to essentially get two and a quarter bottles out of that. I mean, so, it's a better bang for your buck, I say. Yeah. So that's one of the qualifiers is these have to be affordable. They got to be good by themselves, but they have to be good for mixing as well. Easy to find? Fairly easy to find. Well, they're going to all be easy to find. If they're in your market, you should be able to easily find these. Almost every one of these is easy to find if they're in your market. There might be one or two that you might have to keep an eye out for, or have some good timing, okay. but almost all of them are available and we're, we're going based on quality and value here, and it's going to be a fun list. Yeah. So let's so get right into it. Before we get into it, oh, I okay. do want to have a caveat that Josh will probably be speaking a lot in this video, and I will be speaking a little. I will add color commentary where necessary, but th this is more... Of this is more his episode. You know you know most of these bourbons. So. I do, but I just want to put that out there because I know people will make a note. And I know, thank you guys for always wanting me to be heard, but this is one where I'm going to defer to Josh. Well, and to be fair, you're more of a social sipper. I am. You're the, you're the person at the tailgate or the party. I'm drinking the drink, but. Just drinking the drink. I don't really care what it I'm is. I'm the one going and buying it and then giving it to you. Yeah. So Or making that. me the cocktail. There you go. Yeah. All right. So first up on the list is going to be none other than Maker's Mark. This and is good. I do. I agree with this. I put this in the number 10 spot for a very special reason, because okay. when I was going to college at Bowling Green and the Hilltoppers were playing games, typically we did not drink this because it was too expensive. And this, what is the price? like? Well, this in our market is $23 okay. for a 750 milliliter. But we didn't drink this unless we were trying to impress girls because uh, of the wax top. Uh, so we would, fancy. we would splurge a little bit and get the wax top. You want the ladies to think you're a big spender, eh? <laughs> yeah. Well, back in the day, this was spending big. Splurging. During the college years. But, you know, it's generally sweet. It is a weeded bourbon. It's the only weeded bourbon on this list. It's findable in every single market yeah. on planet Earth. Yeah. Prices may vary a little bit. Again, it's $23 here for this bottle. But, yeah, it's good. It's generally sweet. It's got that soft wheat bourbon flavor to it but not sour it's not like yeah. turned wheat which i feel like sometimes weeded bourbons can give me anyway. yeah it leans a little bready but like generally you know if you're thinking about like cherry sweetness this has that in it like mm -hmm. cherry caramel good stuff well we're checking out 90 proof so you can drink a fair bit of it yeah. without getting yourself into too much trouble which is an important thing on game day you're probably gonna be drinking for three and a half hours during yeah, the game. You, so you want to keep the proof low yeah. so you don't over consume and then not remember the game. I don't think anything on this list is over a hundred proof. Okay. If I'm, well, a hundred, hundred and one proof. A hundred ish. Right in, oh, right, 101, eh? Right in that range. 101, do you say? That's what they call foreshadowing. <laughs> Let's get into the number nine Kay. bottle on the list. And these are in order. I did rank these. Okay. Number nine on the list. Are Ancient you speaking age to your 90. ranking? Yeah. Okay. Maker's Mark is just generally good. Ancient age, though, is cheap. That's why this is on the list. <laughs> this is 90 proof for this 1.75 liter and flexi plastic it is, handle. It is pretty decent for as cheap as it is. Let's just say that. We wouldn't want you. We're not going to tell you to buy anything that's utter garbage. Yes. Like, if we wouldn't drink it ourselves, we're not going to put it on this list. Right. This is $23 for this 
1.75 liter plastic handle. And if you look in the channel history or down in the video description below, I will put a link to this versus Blanton's. And this more than holds its own because this is the same mash bill as Blanton's from Buffalo Trace. It's just a little bit younger, but it is good whiskey. It's well worth checking out. This is the 90 proofer in a lot of markets. There's only the 80 proofer available. Okay. Get it, mix it in. It's still cheap. Yeah. But the 90 proofer is the one to get if it's in your market. And if you can get the ancient age 10 star with this darker label okay. with the 10 right here, if you see this, definitely get this. Okay. This is even better. Is it as cheap? Yeah, it's right around the same price. Okay. Maybe 30 bucks. Okay. But cool. definitely check out ancient age. It's sweet. It's kind of like got this green apple tart sweetness to it. Works well as a mixer, works well by itself, works well on ice. And you get a lot of whiskey for the money. Hard to beat that on a game day. Next up, and I'm going to elevate here. Okay. This okay. is one of the more expensive bottles on the list. Okay. Specifically because when we think game days here in Nashville, Tennessee, where we're located, we think Jack and Coke. Ah, uh, so yeah, we do. If you're mixing Jack and Cokes or whiskey and Cokes or bourbon and Cokes or whatever, you could just get the regular Jack Daniels number, old number seven black label, but the bonded is so much better and it's a hundred proof versus 80 proof. Mm. So your whiskey so will it, go further. It goes farther in your Cokes. Yes. Yeah. Now this is about 30 bucks for the 700 milliliter, or you can get a liter bottle for 40 bucks. I would just get the liter bottle on average. You're, you're around that 30 bucks for 750 milliliters okay. if you grab the liter bottles. But this is actually really good whiskey, good enough to be sipped neat or over ice if you want. And it works really well as a mixer too. I can promise you that this elevates a Jack and Coke very well. Yes. So this, this fits in very nicely. Uh, we got this 700 milliliter bottle, but when this is out, it's definitely going into, or we're gonna get a, a liter bottle. Great and ginger ale, I had that just the other night. Ooh, a Jack and Ginger. Jack and Ginger, mm, it was awesome good. for that. Cannot recommend that I enough. I used to get that from time to time when I would go out in my mm -hmm. single days. Yeah, very, very good. Yeah. All right, next up is going to be in the number seven slot. Okay. Old Forester 100 proof mm. signature. And you can tell because the orange here, right here on the neck tag, and down here there's like some orange motif on the labeling. There's also a light blue motif for the colors. What's the difference? And that's 86 proof. Okay. And it's not that much cheaper than the 100 proof. So I would recommend just getting the 100 proof and then just using a little less of it or okay. so the whiskey goes further or using more of a mixer. And why do you recommend that? I just think it's got better flavor. The, the 86 proof is just all banana. And this has like a little, it brings in a little bit of vanilla and oak and things okay. like that. Okay. A little bit more depth and richness cool. thanks to the proof. And then again, it goes further if you're using it specifically as a mixer. It's, it leans towards the fruity sweet side, kind of like the Jack Daniels does, mm -hmm. kind of like the Ancient Age does. Actually, so far, all these kind of lean towards the fruity, fruity sweet side. So this would fit that bill. Yeah. In our market, this is $26 for a 750 milliliter or a whopping $53 for a 1.75 liter handle. That's pretty high priced. I actually, I'm looking at the list right now. That is the highest price. And that's why this is in the number seven slot. Gotcha. Because of the price for the quality. If you like cherry, vanilla, banana mm. flavors, then this is worth checking out. I, I would almost skew towards the Jack more than this, but this is slightly better value. Okay. Which is why it's slightly higher on the list. But gotcha. I, I do prefer the flavor of the Jack Daniels bonded better. But, Why? you know, you're splitting hairs. They have a lot of the same flavors. I just like the Jack better. It's a little bit more like banana bread, brown sugary. Okay. And that doesn't really, the Old Forester doesn't really have the brown sugar okay. element to it that the Jack does that I like. So it's personal preference. Thing. Yeah. Next up on the list. The bottle's almost empty. <laughs> yes. Well, a lot of these don't last very long in our house. Yeah. Wild Turkey 101 is going to be the number six spot. And this stuff is $25 for a bottle or $44 for a handle. And I know the 101 proof can seem daunting if you're if you're looking for something for game day, mm. just add less. <laughs> you, or, like, yeah, or put it on ice and let the ice kind of water it down a little right. bit. I find that I tend to sip things slower when there's an ice cube in there. This right here on the list so far is the best bourbon for drinking by itself. Mm. You know, I would, the Jack Bonded might be for some people, but this truly is the best for drinking by itself. 
It does have some spice to it, but it's got some like cinnamon, nutmeg, mm -hmm. clove type of things going on. Big dose of caramel in this. And it works exceptionally well as a mixer if you're making cocktails or mixed drinks. I remember back in the Western Kentucky days at mm -hmm. college, this and Diet Coke was for some reason the go-to. Interesting. And here's the thing. So it wasn't a Jack and Coke. It was a, well, it was a whiskey and Diet Coke. It yeah. was turkey and Diet Coke. Yeah. All right. And this right here, like if you're mixing for game day, if you've got 101 proof versus like a 90 proof, just use less whiskey. Yeah, because it will go Your whiskey goes farther. further or use more mixer or whatever. Yeah. But honestly, a lot of game days, this right here works really great in an old fashioned if I'm going to have like Ooh, yeah. a cocktail. That's a fancy game day half. if you're making an old fashioned. But well, I mean, you know, sign me up. I'm, I'm there. I'm a fancy boy. <laughs> All right. Number five on the list is going to be Benchmark. And this is going to be pretty much any of the Benchmark bottles with this label on it. This happens to be the top floor, which between all of their expressions, they've got the small batch, the single barrel, okay. the bonded. I'm not counting the full proof because that's high proof. Okay. And you don't want to drink 125 proof on game day. Well, actually, I honestly. Mean, you might if you're losing and want to forget all your troubles. Honestly, on game days, what I tend to reach for is just like a good pour per quarter. But... That's not the point of this video. Like the point of this video is whiskey that you can just kind of drink throughout the game and enjoy. Yeah. So you got to skew towards lower proof. I like the top floor because it's lower proof. It's 86 proof. Okay. And I find this one to be the sweetest and most approachable of the bunch. Some of the other ones have a little bit more going on flavor wise, but I don't think that flavor is as good as this. This has kind of okay. like the strawberry candy note to it. Okay. Like kind of like a an old candy shop strawberry candy mm. whereas like some of the other ones lean a little bit more cardboardy a little bit more corn grainy things like that interesting i just okay. like i just like the top four the best and best of all 15 bucks it's the cheapest one in I the mean, bunch too that sounds pretty nice this is one of the value superstars this is this is yeah. number five for a reason i would i would say it is yep number four on the list and this one is honestly if i'm going to be drinking throughout a game regularly and I'm going to be drinking neat. This is the pour I reached for. Okay. What is it? It is Buffalo Trace. Oh, interesting. Now, Buffalo Trace makes Benchmark, okay. which was the last bottle. Buffalo Trace obviously makes Buffalo Trace. Really? This in our market is $28.99 now for a 750 milliliter. Okay, you said that. $28.99. What is? But You're so Southern. This is good whiskey, and there's a reason it's so popular. It's because it's generally sweet but it does have some age to it. There is some blending that goes into this it's, product. It's an easy to drink whiskey, in my yes. opinion. It works well on ice. It works well in cocktails. Yeah, I would argue that some of the whiskeys that are coming up on this list are better for mixing. I find this to be a little bit too sweet for mixing, personally speaking. Okay. But that's why there's pours on this list yeah. above this. And so, this is kind of hard to find sometimes. But that is to note, if you like a really sweet cocktail and you want a whiskey cocktail, this might be one to go for. Yeah, absolutely. Because it adds more sweetness than maybe some of the others. Yeah, but like 4th of July this year, I was reaching for this bottle. Mm. You know, game days, yeah. I could have a poor Buffalo Trace per quarter and be just fine by the end and of the you game. Drink it neat. You would drink it neat? I do. I drink it neat, but it works well on ice. It works well as a mixer. It's just... It just works well. Yeah, okay. Works. I mean, with ginger ale, great. You know, yeah. you can't beat that. You're really on a ginger ale kick, and I kind of am here for it. It's weird. Like, I like the ginger ale with a lot of these whiskeys, but I like the Jack bonded with Coca-Cola. Like, Jack I and Coke. I wonder Cokes, if that's like a mental It's a thing. Nashville, Tennessee thing. Yeah. We're in Nashville. So, all right. The next two bottles up on the list are market dependent. They're not in every market, but if they are in your market, they should be available. Also, I'm running out of space here, so you need to I'll put them these. back over here. Okay. So... Number three on the list, $30 per liter, liter I mean, cola, and hey. it kind of tastes like cola. Early times bottled and bond. All right. Love this stuff. What's up? Love this stuff. Love this stuff. I will drink this neat as well. It is 100 proof, so we're stepping up in proof. Mm -hmm. And the rest of this list is 100 proof. Okay. So you got to use a little less whiskey if you're mixing or Sip don't. slower if you're sipping neat. Correct. So plan that in advance yeah. so that you're being safe and all that stuff on game day. But- Love this stuff. It's sweet. It's oaky. It confuses us in blinds as a $50 plus bottle all the time. Yeah. And it's 30 bucks for a liter. It's crazy value. Yeah. If you get this in your market, I think it's available in about 13 states last I checked. Okay. So 
Not a lot. Not a lot. I mean, not even, I don't think, a quarter of the states. That's unfortunate. Or about a quarter of the states. Yeah. Actually, just over a quarter of the states, now that I'm doing quick math in my head. Mathing. Unless you count the provinces as slightly less than. But just saying, this stuff is very, very good. Check it out. And if you travel for work or anything like that, or for fun or for leisure, and you see these bottles on the shelf, they're well worth picking up. Mm. This, Especially for the price point. Everything else on this list can be sipped neat by itself if you want. And I do prefer this to the Buffalo Trace that we just had. The only reason I don't drink this as much on game days, if I'm going to be drinking all through a game, is because Buffalo Trace is 90 proof. A, this is 100 proof, mm -hmm. but it's a better whiskey. I think it mixes better if you're going to make cocktails or anything like that or, you know, bourbon and Cokes okay. or whiskey and Cokes. Presenting a dilemma for well, the people. Well, and this is a lot easier to find. If this is in your market. If it's in your market, it's easier to find. It's easier if to it's find it's not in your market, Trace. then obviously it's not easier to find. Now. Number two on this list would be number one on this list, but it's available in even less markets than oh. the early times bottle and bottle. Well, that's unfortunate. This to me is the <gasps> king of budget whiskey. Yes. And you, JTS is, this, Brown. is this what you make my old fashions with? Yeah. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, this man makes me consistently the best old fashions I've ever had in my life. And I've had a lot and he makes it with this and other things, but this is a whiskey that he uses. So can confirm. It's great in a cocktail. JTS Bottled and Bond. If you can find this in your state, I think it's available in like a handful of states. If you can find this in your state, it's like between nine and $15 for a bottle. Or if you get a plastic handle like this, it's between 20 and 30 bucks. Value superstar. Yeah. Crazy value. Yeah. Good whiskey. It has like this super can you, caramel. Can you drink it neat? Because I think you've you only made it in cocktails for me. No, you can drink it neat. <laughs> okay. It's got a very caramel candy bar, nutty kind of flavor profile okay. to it. And I like that. This stuff is amazing. So it's less fruity sweet than most of the yes. other ones. Okay. Yes, this link, That's good to know. Now we're getting into the candy bar pours. And okay. this, this to me, awesome. Works okay. amazing for mixing. Every single mixed drink I've ever made with this has been awesome. Yes. And it's Can the confirm. highest value. It is the cheapest whiskey other than the ancient age for a handle, like mm -hmm. a plastic handle like this. It's the cheapest whiskey on this list. You can't beat that. Does the plastic do anything to the flavor over no. glass? No. Okay. It's probably killing us slowly from the inside out. But other Maybe, than that. But everything is, so it's yeah. fine. And the number one whiskey on the list for game days. I see it over there. Specifically, and I concur. Specifically because it's available in every market. Yeah. Because JTS Bond, JTS uh, Brown Bottle and Bond is not. Otherwise, JTS Brown would be kill would kill this. But it's got to be Evan Williams Bottle yeah. and Bond. Again, it mixes Solid. what it mixes well. You can drink it over ice. It's you can drink this neat. I've had this neat. Neat. You like it a lot more than I do. Yeah. But I will say. If you don't like the the bot the bottled and bond, you could get the 1783. Okay. You could get the black label. And honestly, I there was no pushback for me for putting this number one on the list because the value is crazy high. It's What's the price on this? 18 bucks for a bottle like this or $28 for a handle. Oh wow. A 1.75 liter handle. And more widely available. It's available everywhere. It mixes great. And when I was going to Western Kentucky, it was literally drinking natty light or bush light or drinking the black label evan williams mm. and i would always default to the black label yeah. evan williams so this right here is tailgating whiskey there you go it's game day whiskey mix it with some ginger ale enjoy yourself or some coca-cola or whatever soda what is Dr. your Pepper? preference that's my favorite of the sodas it would go just fine with that we i'm should, sure we should try that we'll do it for science okay we'll do the hard work for you guys science. and let you know how it goes so Anyways, great stuff. Evan Williams made by Heaven Hill. Very, very solid product. Some, I mean, I would try it neat, see if you like it or not, but it's going to be a great mixer. It makes great cocktails. Mm -hmm. I tend to like the JTS Brown a little bit more. It's just not available everywhere. So that's the only gotcha yeah, with that one. Yeah, that's a bummer. But Do they have expectations of making it more available or no. you don't know? No, but this one wins on value across the board and availability. And yeah, if we're if we're talking about game day sipping and a game is on like noon on a Sunday or even before that on a Saturday and I feel like I want to drink with it, I'm going to have something like a splash mm -hmm. of this with some ginger ale or a splash of this with some Coca-Cola or something like that. And I'm going to stretch it out 
for the rest of the day. Yeah. And I'm going to, we do encourage you to sip responsibly. Absolutely. Let's, let's not get crazy. Always sip responsibly. I mean, we're in our 40s. We're too old to be feeling bad the next day, but. <laughs> we got stuff to do, man. Yeah. But you still kind of want to have, sometimes you want to have some drinks with the games and yeah. all that stuff. And these are great options that you don't have to feel bad about mixing because the prices are low, the quality is up there, and we definitely re would recommend checking these out. And if we said something about one that sounds interesting to you, that kind of caught your caught your eye or or pricked your ear, what do they say? What's that saying? I don't know now. I'm... Perked your ear? I, I don't know. Do you I, know what I'm saying? All I'm thinking of is the Tracy Morgan quote from 30 Rock when he talks about something in his mind grapes. Okay. Well, if something, so here, it. if something that we said stimulated your mind grapes, then <laughs> gravitate towards that bottle because <laughs> all these are pretty good, honestly. I, I did rank them, but they're all pretty good. So check any of them out. And if you like this channel, make sure you subscribe and check out more of our videos. We Absolutely. do a lot of blind tastings over here where we cut out all the bias and we tell you what the whiskey is really like without any kind of influence of labels or right. price tags or anything like that. And some of these bottles on this list have performed very well without us knowing yeah. what they cost. We so, didn't know until it was over. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So check that out. Also, if you're interested in joining in on a Patreon community or a community of good people who like good whiskey, then you should, should check, check out, out our Patreon. Patreon. Yeah. That's the way I meant to say that. It's fine. And we do all kinds of stuff over there. Virtual tastings, bonus content. We have fantasy football stuff going on over there all the time. Well, when, not all the time. Well, during fantasy football season. During the season. We got two <laughs> leagues and we might even be expanding if we get more people who want to play. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. All kinds of fun stuff's happening over there. That's where we release our barrel picks, where we go to distilleries, pick barrels, and make them available to our community. And we invite some of our patrons along with us mm -hmm. to the barrel picks, which is cool. So yeah. that's always fun. Tons of fun. And we have shirts and glassware and all kinds of stuff at hey, stuffandwhiskey.com. I'm wearing some of our merch today. Yeah, look at us. We're on our subtle Stuff and Whiskey game. But you can check that out. And uh, I think that's it for today, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Be good to each other. Thank you for watching. Yeah. And until next time. Roll Tide. Oh, O-H. N-O. I hate it that you do that. That's not fair. <laughs>